So uh, we, we think, again, that putting it in the hands of more people is a, is a way to make it more scalable. Um, from the uh, uh, data source perspective, um, we support lots of different data sources, and again, that's the, uh, along the same theme, but public, private data sources, uh, structured, unstructured, uh, mm -hmm. et cetera. Um, from the financial side, right. uh, 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 what it means is that, uh, again, if you're paying per user, if you have to install per desktop, that, that gets to be a little bit unwieldy and it limits the, 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 the reach, the scope mm -hmm. of the community you're going to be able to serve. So, so there are a lot of interesting dimensions to it, both from the back end side with something mm -hmm. like the, the data stacks uh, uh, source and from the front end side. Interesting. Uh, so, because we've been talking, you know, covering, having covered this industry, we've been talking about expanding uh, the use of BI to more workers in the enterprise. But we've kind of hit this 10 to 20 percent wall in terms of uh, adoption, depending on what poll you happen to look at. So, it sounds like you think a couple of things: the mobile and kind of the web-based access are two of the ways that we're going to kind of start to overcome that in the big data world. Um, one one approach I've always thought was really uh, uh, an excellent way to to get more people to use BI is to essentially embed BI into the applications that they use every day. Um, what steps are you guys taking in that regard? Is it, well, first off, do you think that's a, a legitimate strategy? And, and if so, uh, you know, what steps are you doing to, to do that? So that, for instance, I don't have to leave one application and go to, go to my BI application to do some right. analytics. Right, yeah, you're, you're dead on, that's exactly right. Um, at JustSoft, about half of our users are using it embedded. Mm -hmm. So it is very uh, strong thrust for us. Um, we make that easy by, for example, uh, being uh, open source and, and uh, open APIs. So we publish all of our APIs. Um, we also think that it's very important for the reason of contextual information. And what I mean by that is exactly as you said, once you're inside the application, you don't want to have to leave and go elsewhere to try to sort things out. You want to see, okay, so this is what's happening. Why, what can I mm -hmm. learn from that? What can I predict from that? And that's uh, the embedded uh, leads you then to the contextual insights. Yeah, I think that's key. It gives, it, you're, you're, because you're in the, same, in the same environment, it really allows you to, as you said, understand in context what it is you're, you're working with, whatever, whatever job you might be doing, as opposed to closing down, moving to a new application, getting distracted, and next thing you know, you lose some of the power of, the BI, of BI because you, you, you've kind of lost the context. Exactly right, yeah, we, we see that as, a, uh, um, as an, an interesting trend, and again, it fits very well with the, uh, the big data focus mm -hmm. on collecting this information from all these places, which gives you all these new contexts that, that uh, that lead to insights, as well as deployment on the various devices and, and having real-time mm. access from your mobile device, for example, as well as your web, and being able to make the kinds of decisions and insights that, that lead to better, better results, better performance of your uh, organization. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we're almost out of time, uh, but I wanted to ask, so going forward, uh, you know, for JasperSoft, what are we looking at in the next year or two? Um, you know, as, I, as I mentioned, I've been covering you guys for, for quite a while, a very innovative company. Uh, what can we expect in the next year or two? Okay, so, uh, you'll be seeing uh, uh, more and better, and uh, some of the things that, that uh, we're now announcing are, for example, uh, more interactivity in the, uh, in the presentation. So we've had uh, uh, dashboards and reports and so forth. We now uh, provide the capability for users to do uh, on-the-fly resorting and mm -hmm. uh, inclusion or, or exclusion of, uh, of various uh, information, so forth, whatever, all without training, you know, the, sort of the, the, uh, the search model where you just mm -hmm. go up and type what you want in the search box and mm -hmm. off and running. Same kind of thing here where we have uh, uh, the kind of controls that, that, that lead to that. You'll see higher performance, you'll see uh, um, uh, more device uh, uh, support. Um, you'll see better graphics um, w uh, with uh, our uh, new charting engine and so forth. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so lots of, uh, I think, really interesting uh, 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 announcements and, and capabilities on the horizon. Okay, great. Well, uh, we're looking forward to seeing those. Hopefully we'll run into you again at some more, uh, some more events. We'll be uh, a lot of the big data events, and I'm sure you will be as well. Uh, ben Connor from Jaspersoft, thanks so much for joining us on theCUBE, uh, live here at uh, Cassandra Summit in beautiful Santa Clara. Uh, we'll be right back uh, in a few moments.